I think it's probably fair to say that doing this job, we get to see a lot more items of tackle than perhaps you guys would at home or perhaps like the average angler would get to see. And that's great. It definitely has its pros. Obviously, we get to see a lot of different items. We get to see what's new on the market. And uh, yeah, we quite often get a first look at things. But it also has its downside because we don't get to see them items for long because we have such a quick turnaround of products. We don't really get to actually use them properly, which is why we do our product overviews where we show you exactly what the product is, what it does, but we can't give an in-depth review on that sort of thing because we simply don't have the time to, to put it to the test. However, some items we do actually get to use for a bit longer. And this Fox Barrow is one of them. I've had this for about two and a half years now. This is the Fox Explorer Barrow. And uh, I thought I'd give a, a bit more of a, an actual review <laughs> because I've, because I've used it for a decent amount of time. Now, like I say, we do get through a lot of products, but the, the Barrow has really stood by me for the last two and a half years. Uh, I use it probably a couple of times a week on average because I'm on the bank a lot. Even if I'm not fishing, if I'm filming an in-session, I'll be bivvied up next to the angler that I'm filming. So obviously it'll get me around the lake. If I'm just doing product videos, still I need to get everything around the lake somehow, I'll take camera kit around. So it's been well and truly used and abused. And like I say, I've had it for about two and a half years. And to be fair, I can't really fault it much. It's, it, it does what it needs to do. Obviously, yeah, it doesn't have motors on, it's not, it's not powered at all, it's just a manual barrow, but it works. I've, I've never had an occasion where it's tipped over or where I've struggled to push it. Uh, the previous barrow I had to this was a carp water Mark II, and uh, one of the bearings in the wheel had gone. Or it hadn't gone, but it kept slipping up. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what made me change to, to this barrow, because I just... I'd had enough of trying to push a full barrow with no bearings at all and a wonky wheel. So yeah, moved over to this one. I haven't had to change anything, nothing's broken on it. I'm still using the original uh, fasteners that come with it. Uh, it comes with the barrow bag, which if you've got a barrow without a bag, honestly, is a game changer. Um, I pretty much store everything, all my little bits and pieces in there. Inside, I've got one of the little camo light utility bags, which has got all my brew kit in. But aside from that, I can literally chuck all the little bits and pieces that normally fall off your barrow, end up in that barrow bag, and then you've got access from the sides as well. So you don't have to completely unload the barrow to, uh, to actually get to what's in the bag. So it's really handy that if you pull up somewhere, you want to make a brew whilst you're watching the water before actually getting anything sorted, then you can access it from the side. And that literally, that just slots into place. So the bag itself has got metal around the, around the frame of the bag and then there's a couple of little loops on the barrow, which it just slots down into. Overall, it, like I say, nothing's needed to be replaced. I've still got the original handles, the original wheel that hasn't burst. Uh, I would say that it's misshapen slightly, um, which is probably down to me pumping it up too much, but it still goes in a straight line. So yeah, nothing to really complain about there. Um, still using the original bearings in it. They're not falling out, which is obviously a good sign. Um, so yeah, overall, it's been a really good barrow. Can't say much more about it because at the end of the day, it is a barrow, but it's done exactly what it needed to. Uh, it hasn't rusted. There's slight surface rust on certain areas, which I'll show you in some close-ups, but like I say, it is only surface rust. And when you think about it, I've had it two and a half years. It's out in the elements the whole time that I'm out. So if I'm out overnight, if it's chucking it down, it's outside next to my bivy. So that's kind of to be expected. And to be fair, the, the surface rust is only coming where I've binged it and taken off the paintwork. So on the actual paint, there's no rust whatsoever. And then the only other thing that I'd potentially say about it is, I think the bag's probably faded a little bit in the sun, but again, it's two and a half years of being out in the elements. So there's, yeah, there's no biggies. It's still using the original fasteners, um, which are buckles, which are really handy. So it doesn't matter if you've only got a few bits on it or if you're loaded right up, you can still fasten down to it. And then the other thing that I've noticed about it, if I just move around, obviously I'm quite short. So for me, it's not too far to bend down and lift it up, which is obviously quite handy. So, but for taller people, it will be quite a way down. But I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing because if you're taller than me, obviously you're at more of an angle. So the weight is at a better point on the wheel, as long as you load it properly, um, then yeah, I, it's not a biggie. But yeah, I just, to be honest, I haven't even noticed it. I only noticed it today when I was setting it up and framing that it's 
it's fairly low. Uh, obviously this folds down, so if you don't want to use it, then you don't have to. Um, there is an extension that goes on the front, which I haven't bothered using. Uh, and then there's also alongside this main barrow bag, you get a couple of mesh pockets that go in here. Again, to be honest, I haven't used them. Um, I haven't found the need, but if you've got the little five litre containers from Fox water containers, then they slot in perfectly. So if you had two of them, 10 litres of water either side of the wheel, obviously it balances it that bit better. But like I say, overall, great barrow. I'll be using it for the next few years, I'm sure. I've got no need to change it. So there you go. That is a long-term review and I'm actually happy calling that a review. So any questions, obviously put them in the comments below. But for now, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.